All right, I have my FTP test tomorrow. There's just some footage of me running a quick step behind uh, behind this, but mainly it's just me speaking about what what I concentrate on during my effort. And now a lot of people have their opinions, and a lot of people say pretty similar things. To be honest, most people just say concentrate on the effort, uh, concentrate on your breathing, ignore the pain, just relax, all that stuff. I think that's all well and good, and I I agree. I think that's uh, that's all good things to think about. But in reality, it's quite hard to actually concentrate on think about that. So I think there are good things to like focus your mind on, and then you become relaxed. So number one, I think the best thing to do is figure out what your strategy is. So for me, I'm going to be pacing on power. If you're pacing on on effort, uh, then that's slightly different. And if you're pacing on heart rate, well, I wouldn't recommend that. But I'm going to be pacing on power and then feel. So for me, I find like if I try and pace on power 100%, it's impossible because you have no idea what your limits are. And then you you might put limits on yourself. So for instance, like I know what watts I can hold. Like sometimes when I'm going to set a power PB, I'm like, I can probably hold about 360 watts, let's say, for 10 minutes. Uh, and I hadn't done that before, maybe my best was like 340, and then up. but I knew I had that in the tank, but I'm not constrained by the watts. So tomorrow, I'm um, doing my first proper real full gas effort up Deutsche Tap, which is about like, you know, 25 minutes, 30 minute climb. So I need to think, what am I gonna hold? So I know my best 20 minute power is 334, so I don't wanna go off of for my first five minutes of 330 watts, which is a very high probability I will do that. But I'm really gonna try and concentrate and just be like, first five minutes, 310 watts, second 10 minutes, and at 10 minutes, 320 watts, and then from then on, it's just full gas. So I now have my pacing strategy, pretty simple, like mainly just, you know, concentrating on what what I know I can do, and then the rest of it is just effort. But even then, like, I wouldn't be glancing out my power. Maybe I know how to ride with power. I know what 310, what 320 watts feels like. You just ride. Uh, and if I feel good, maybe I'll up it, but I'm just trying to be, you know, be conservative at the beginning because it's a long climb. It's longer than you think. It's not a 20-minute effort plus a bit. It's more like a a solid 25 a half an hour effort and a little bit less than that so it's better to think of it think of it as a half an hour effort but anyway no matter what effort you have just think about like what pacing you want to do if you're going to go on feel feel is good just i'd say my top tips for feel would just be go easier in the first bit than you think you need to and then you'll feel strong because even when riding with power you always go too hard at the beginning it's really hard to stop that obviously if it's a shorter effort it's good to go hard at the beginning and then sort of fade out i find that suits me better but each their own uh, and then when you're just doing the effort, I mean, it's just like concentrate on what cadence you want to have. But for me, I'm going to average 85 to 90 cadence tomorrow. I don't like going over 90. It just doesn't really seem to suit me. On the flats, it's all right. But on climbs, I really prefer the 85, 85 cadence. Really, that's that's where my sweet spot is. Um, so yeah, just concentrate on that. Keep my cadence good, comfortable where I want it to be. And just then after that, just look ahead. Try not. To, I don't try and look at my power meter too much. I do at the beginning, uh, but I have a glance down maybe every 30 seconds maybe 20 seconds every 20, 30 seconds. Just have a little glance down, but yeah, number's good. Um, but my best ever power normally comes when I'm not even looking. I'm just concentrating like 100% on just the effort. Uh, I don't, not really thinking of anything, not really, not, nothing's really going through my mind. And that is, is a very hard state of mind to get to, to really have nothing going through your mind. It's very easy to say, I've got nothing, through, nothing going through your mind. But in reality, you always think of something. But it's when you're really just like, not even concentrating, you're just like, yeah, I'm just doing it. And you're just like, I mean, it's again another cliche thing. I'm one with a bite, but it's more just like you're so into the effort, you're not even thinking about like what's going on, not like what what time it is, what power you're doing. You're just like, this is it. I'm at, I'm at my limit. Just hold it. And I like to just get locked in on the bike. I hold maybe my bars a bit too like hard, but just you know firm and just hold them, and then just look up the road and just concentrate on that breathing. And just go and not try and get panicked and not try and breathe too much. And I find this, when I start thinking about things, I'm almost like, not talking, but like your, my breathing always gets messed up as soon as I start thinking about things because I think you get too panicked. Um, and the other thing to do is don't get worried about your power. If your power is lower than normal, that's fine. Uh, if anything, if your power is lower than normal, then sometimes it's best just to get rid of it. Just go onto a different page which just has average speed or just has like some irrelevant facts and just go on, go on your field then because it's very easy to get disheartened by it and that's happened to me before. And then you just start panicking and then that's just never good. Like you don't want to be panicked. So if you think your power is going to be bad or whatever, then maybe just don't use power. Like record it and just don't look at it um, or record it for the first or look at it for the first five minutes. And if you're doing like a 20 minute effort, let's say, and then after that, just, just don't look at it because it was just, or just like dishearten you and potentially you won't like it. Um, because I mean, these are mental things. Another thing is like, if you have a chance, do a climb with a tailwind it just boosts your ego, it really does, and you're gonna be more confident, because even if you're putting not as much power, you feel like you're going faster, and just psychologically, you're like, yeah, that's good. Um, but generally, just like, think about like, if you are, do you wanna think about things, think about one thing. Um, it might be like what you really love, it might be like what 
what really drives you to ride your bike. It might just be something random, but just concentrate on one thing um, if you really want to think about something. But even then, I, I find like I prefer to just try and concentrate on nothing. And then if my mind starts wandering, I think about one thing um, and then that's it. And it sort of does sound quite spiritually guru thing about whole the whole thinking about things. But I feel like for an effort, it makes sense to really just because your mind is so powerful and everyone always says that as well. I mean, this does sound very cliche, but like, to be honest, you, you normally before an effort, I know what numbers I can do. Like I know tomorrow I'll be able to do probably three ten to three twenty watts for half an hour. Like I could, I know I can do that, but it, it's just actually getting it and executing it right, which is always the hard thing to do. You want to be able to execute the effort. Um, and people talk that a lot, uh, to talk about that a lot more in track cycling, like executing a performance. Uh, and I think it's, it's definitely right that in order to execute a performance, you have to have a good night's sleep before. You have to just be like calm, relaxed. And I think a good big thing is just mentally just be ready to suffer and just like, just accept it. That's the other thing. When I started doing, when I was doing Adelaide and just doing efforts almost like three days in a row, on the third day, I was just like, yeah, this is life. Just accept it. You're just like, right, here we go. We know what we're going to do. We're going to have some tunes on. We're going to concentrate on the tunes. Um, and that's it. Like, you know, listen to my tunes. I, I like having my songs in, uh, in my ears normally. Sometimes it's nice to listen to your breathing, but I generally just quite like the tunes and just relaxing and just listening to them. Um, I like sort of like grime, rap, hip hop, that sort of thing for my um, efforts. I actually hate the music in real life. Like I don't never listen to it unless I'm doing an effort, but I find like it gives me good motivation. Um, and then, you know, like I often will turn up a little bit at the end and that just, you know, allows you to relax uh, a bit more. Some people I know just don't like music at all. I used to really not like music. It's really just concentrating my breathing, but I think I, I, now I realize the power of music definitely helps you because it can sort of lull your mind into like not concentrating as much as on the bike and concentrating more on other things sometimes. And you don't you don't see you see more in the moment uh, when you're just listening to the tune and just concentrating on that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a hard thing to do really just concentrating just on the effort. But when you watch the pro riders, it's pretty incredible because they're very good at it. When you watch them climb, they really are just like looking ahead like like seem so zoned out they almost seem like they're far, they're on like i don't know they're just they don't seem like they're in the moment at all they just seem like they're completely like out of it but that's what you want to be you just want to be so like sort of like confused and just relaxed and like you just i don't know you just don't really want to be like concentrating at anything you don't want to be present in the moment you don't want to be like oh this hurts so much you just want to be relaxed just off it just like just not even thinking about anything anymore just just chilling um and that really is the top tips, just like, just relax, don't think about anything, and if you want to think about something, then just, if your mind wanders, think about one thing, and just concentrate on that, um, and every time you think that you're not pushing hard enough, just, just don't even think about it, that's the other thing, it's like, as soon as you start worrying about not pushing hard enough, you just don't even think, you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go full gas, and you just, you just try and hold it as long as possible, and if you think, and as, as soon as there's a little bit of self-doubt or just a little bit of worry, like, oh, maybe I'm not going hard enough, that's that's not good. You always want to have positive vibes, just like I'm smashing up the climb. And that's why I find for me a tailwind is definitely always good to have. Like, I can always push harder with a tailwind because you're just going faster, so you have more positive energy. And you're just like, yeah, I, I'm actually good. I know how to ride my bike. I'm, I'm going fast. Um, and that's the same with a race. Like, when you're, when you're drafting someone in a race, it's suddenly like, oh, yeah, I'm going so fast. This is amazing. But, like, when you're... When you're on your own, sometimes there's a headwind or there's no, like a lack of motivation. It, it, it can be bad. But I think also this is the, my advice mainly is just for solo efforts. I think in a bunch dynamic is very different because you don't want to be in, you don't want to be concentrating solely on yourself. You really want to be concentrating on the moment, looking at other people, figuring out what, how they're doing, and it's quite different. But the thing is, because you have so much mental stimulus, you sort of forget about the pain as much. Therefore, it allows you to push harder, and also you don't need to be like so. On your own and just concentrating just on the effort because you have so many other things to take your mind off the pain but when you're on your own you really there's really not much to think about if you think about it because sorry about that there's not much to think about it because there's not much to think about just because you're on your own you're riding your bicycle up a hill normally when you're doing an effort um you can listen to your breathing but there's not much to think about which therefore means the main thing you think about is pain but that's the, the last thing you want to think about and that's why you really just have to relax and just concentrate on one thing if you want to think about what about something uh, it could be stu something stupid. It could just be like about, I don't know, when you get home, what food you're going to have, something just like, something just off the topic that you don't really, you don't really like, it doesn't really matter um, if you're like what it is. It's just that you've just got to think, for me, I just like to think about one thing and I'm just like, yeah, that's it. Or maybe motivation, uh, why you're doing it. Do you want to be a pro rider? Do you want to just get fitter? Do you want to be on mates? Do you want to get a good time on Strava? Like, you've got to think, why do I want this uh, as well? And that definitely helps. Uh, and then when you're just there, just, just,
just think this is good fun and just relax and just think, yeah, I'm going to do this. And just don't give you an option of quitting. As soon as you think you might quit, like when I was doing intervals on the turbo train, as soon as I thought I might quit, within five minutes I'd be quitting. Like, because you entertain that option. And if you don't entertain the option of quitting, you just don't do it. You don't even think about it. When you turn into that mindset of just like, I'm just going to smash it out. There we go. I'm going to smash it out. It's going to hurt, but it's going to be good. We know what the end result is going to be. You think about the ending, you're like, right, that's it. Um, and yeah, so I really hope this helps you. Uh, it's definitely a skill to learn how to suffer. Um, and I think for me, a lot of physically, I don't think I've got, I've got, be I've gotten better in the last couple of years, but I think a lot of it has just been mentally and learning how to suffer. Um, and that's important. I think speaking to other people who just started riding, I think a lot, a lot of people struggle with that. They just don't know how to suffer. Um, but it's a mental thing. The more you practice, the more you get used to it, the more you suffer, the more, you know, the sensations of like how hard you can go, uh, and everything's just better. So anyway, cheers for watching. Um, my test, my video will be up tomorrow, hopefully on Glossy Tap. And you'll be able to see what time I get. Will I get sub 30? I don't know. But I just know I'm going to go 100% full gas tomorrow because I've made this video now, which is so I have more accountability. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. And it's, it's always fun flying up climbs. It's always good fun. But anyway, cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next vid. Tell me, can you see the stars? We're just running forward in the dark. You knew just what my soul needed Two hearts we share the same beating Is this what it feels like? Coming back to it